welcome uh, we will be looking at uh, activity based budgeting as uh, as one of the important budgeting systems but uh, the thing about activity based budgeting is that before we look at activity based budgeting uh, there are a few things that the study text kind of prompts you to recap and so uh, because it's already been looked at uh, except uh, a component called abm uh, there's a component on abc activity based costing so we're going to look at it because activity based budgeting is based on abc results abc work what you basically do is you apply abc to your previous year get information get figures get numbers get cost driver rates etc and then you use those figures to budget for the future where you call it activity based budgeting that's the gist of it so uh, before we look at abb uh, this video i'm going to use it as a recap for uh, abc and abm okay so um, activity based costing the aim of abc is to calculate the full production cost per unit you have you know this so if we go back to uh, how things started uh, this is uh, this is stuff from uh, p1 or f5 you know that uh, the traditional costing systems were absorption and marginal and there were a lot of issues with absorption and marginal uh, with regard to um, the breakdown of overheads the the root cause analysis you know the the causality issues uh, all those kinds of things so then we propose that activity based uh, costing is actually better because you're not looking at your uh, department or your business in a functional or, or dis departmental approach you're actually looking at your business through the activities that your business performs so by that we came up with the these steps the five steps of abc which is you identify the activities and then for each activity you come up with your cost cost pool you pool in all the costs related to that activity into one one big pot and then you calculate or you identify cost driver what actually drives that activity for example uh, the simple example i take is uh, travel right the distance traveled is your cost driver for the traveling cost very simple so if you have traveled uh, and your traveling cost is 2 million and then your distance traveled is 200000 kilometers you can divide the 2 million by the 200000 kilometers and get the answer to say this is how much we are spending per kilometer so if you have that kilometer figure which is called a cost driver rate step number 3 you calculate the cost driver rate by dividing your cost pool um and getting your uh, from the uh, cost driver total and then you get your cost driver rate which is the per kilometer figure so if you have that figure it's very difficult to uh, you know do your calculations if you have three products and for each product the kilometers traveled is is different what you all have all you all you have to do is you multiply your cost driver rate per kilometer figure by the respective number of uh, kilometers that are traveled on behalf of each of the products and get the total traveling related costs uh, or maybe it's selling and distribution whatever uh, with regard to each of the products so this approach gives you a better uh, visibility and and better breakdown of uh, and and you understand exactly why you are spending the money rather than the traditional absorption costing uh, overhead costing approach because it's it's looking at overheads from a like a indirect costs right you're looking at it from a very broad uh, view where you don't really and you're using departmental oar so overhead absorption uh, rates in order to absorb them into the products without really knowing uh, the the cause and where it's where the cost is coming from so that problem was addressed by abc that's what abc did so ultimately once you have your cost driver rate step number 4 you absorb each activity costs into the product and finally uh, you are able to calculate the full production cost uh, or the profit or loss uh, uh, ultimately so um, in 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 f5 in p1 you know as a little bit in uh, part of the science behind it in sbl you do look at all of these aspects uh, uh, abc is relevant when indirect costs are high um, and uh, product and services that you're offering are complex and they're tailor made to customer specifications and when you have some products or services that are being sold in large numbers but others that are you know being sold very few like in my case my portfolio i have uh, services that are selling in large volumes and i have services that are selling very few uh so you have to have a understanding of abc not that abc is going to get tested okay you will not get tested on abc that's that's done and dusted for you uh, just understand this science and i'll tell you why uh because abc figures especially this cost driver rate the cost driver rate that is the fundamental figure that is being used in activity based budgeting so that figure to calculate that 
uh you look at your previous information you look at your past year information and you get this uh, figures uh, and anything and everything that you can derive from it that is useful for a abb exercise okay so we are going to stop the abc discussion there and then switch to something called okay so this is your study text you can you have a few examples you can take a look at those okay so abc and abb and all of these fit into a broader spectrum of science called abm activity based management so activity based management is essentially running your business lo not looking at it from a departmental angle or a sbu angle or a functional angle not like that what you do is you look at your business as a collection of activities and you ex exert control you plan the activities you exert control through the activities and your decisions are regarding the activities this is what uh, abm essentially means the technical definition is the use of abc information abm is the use of abc information which is the activities and the cost drivers and the driver rates for management purposes to improve operational and strategic decisions there we go abm applies abc principles in order to satisfy customer needs using the least amount of resources abc abm applies abc principles in order to satisfy customer needs using the least amount of resources you try to do it as efficiently as economically as possible um even though there are practical challenges to it okay so as as we use abc information to make better decisions operationally and strategically when we use it operationally we call it operational abm and when we use it strategically we call it strategic abm so you have a, a few ways of uh, of descriptions under operational abm and strategic abm there's a separate note that is uh, generally shared uh, in your case for my uh, p2 students uh, so i'm going to share it with you as well you can take a look at it you can print it you can read it uh, there's it's it's a better summary uh, and a better presentation of information with some uh, additional information also from outside um in in terms of you know straightforward explanations operational abm uh, is essentially when we can use abc information to improve operational efficiency uh, by reducing and eliminating activities that don't add value by refocusing on only value adding activities by continually improving the value adding activities by reducing the incidence of cost driver rates you know the the if we understand that a particular cost driver is you know running too high and therefore our costs are running high then what we can do is we can exert control over that particular cost driver and see how exactly are we going to uh, manage it and uh, it can be used to identify design improvements it can be used for for risk management at operational level etc uh strategic abm is is more broad it's it's uh, it's when abc information is getting used by the directors in the boardroom so what they do is they can decide things like you know eliminating unprofitable products uh, repricing changing the prices of the products determining the profitability of new products so that they they can manage the product portfolio well you know you you can use something like abm and uh, bcg matrix uh, for a pro proper snapshot of product portfolio analysis and cost analysis so that you combine all of that intelligence to make better decisions about how exactly are you going to strategize and position your products it can assist with customer profitability analysis essentially breaking down uh, profitability per customer each customer you analyze them individually because you have abc information it's very easy to uh, break your uh, product costs down on a per customer basis or on a per product basis so cpa is customer profitability analysis d pp is direct product profitability you can you can analyze each of your products in a detailed manner using abm and abc information and decide how exactly you're going to move forward with uh, particular customers in their case and particular products in that case uh, you can use it to improve relationships with customers and suppliers as you know you know uh, abm is essentially being used nowadays in online retail because even if you're someone who has b bought like two things from amazon what you're doing what amazon is doing is they're tracking you they know individual information about you they know how much you're willing to spend they know your location they know how much it costs for a product to get you get to you and then using all of that sometimes you might have seen when you're checking out they say shipping is free because they know and they've calculated and they've seen that a delivery to you 
uh, is just another delivery in, in the thousands of deliveries that is coming into that area. So to retain you, it's better to give you, because you're a new customer, you've only bought two purchases and you realize shipping is free for you, then you might buy more. So they use that kind of activity model, activity-based intelligence in order to directly cater and support and, and, and ensure and reinforce that uh, their sales are, are provided in a, in a maximum utility manner for you so that you're attracted and you want to buy more and more and more. So there we go. That's uh, how ABM is used. So you, you get the gist of it, right? It's, it's the use of ABC information to manage your company. Now, that is what brings us to ABB and uh, activity-based budgeting. Um, so we will be looking at it in a different video because uh, we're we are doing this bite size. Um, have a, have a clear understanding. Don't worry too much. Don't think that you're going to get tested on ABC. You're not. Uh, ABM, you have to have an understanding because it's either operationally or strategically that you will be required to answer questions, not calculations, but really explore a business, uh, whatever business case uh, that you get and, and uh, decide how exactly you want to proceed with it. Uh, good luck uh, and uh, thank you so much.